Hey! All right. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, where we uh, we I uh, am a member of the uh, Salad Dwellers. Uh, we do it every Friday. And when I say that, uh, somebody call, usually calls back every Friday. So uh, we'll see if the chat boards open up with uh, an every Friday at some point in time. But uh, maybe they won't. I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> hey, what's everybody drinking tonight? That I'm going to start with uh, what someone else already used in the chat room. Uh, uh, I made a martini earlier today. Um, that is going to be my drink of choice for tonight. I also toasted up myself a, uh, a strawberry uh, Pop-Tart, uh, and I'm going to enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you en will enjoy my little Twitch stream uh, tonight, or possibly uh, another day when I uh, repost it on YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I got so far. Oh. So I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I didn't make a set list. That was the one. Yeah, that's the one thing that I uh, I don't do, uh, <laughs> as opposed to uh, Friday nights. Um, we make a set list so that uh, we know what what we're doing each each night. Um, but I guess what I might be doing is. Um, what you were listening to a second ago was uh, a show from. Um, it was probably at the end of the night, the last show of the, the night, um, <clears throat> or last game of the night, I should say. Uh, yeah, at the uh, <laughs> at our new place, the uh, the Seagrove. Um, that was uh, November two thousand nine. Uh, so it might have been, it might very well have been uh, one of our very first shows. Actually, it definitely was uh, one of our very first shows uh, at the new place. So. Um, Yay us, I guess. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, you know, that uh, COVID started up and uh, we had to uh, close up shop for a while. Uh, so, I was uh, out and about today. That was uh, a fun little excursion for me. Um, I would have liked to have seen more masks on people. Um, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Um at least the people that didn't have masks on um, stayed like away from people, like they weren't like in people's faces. Um, I wasn't too happy with the uh, the clerks behind the desk not wearing one. Um, I feel even if that you're doing stock, um, I feel that you're spreading germs. You're touching your face throughout the day. Um, you know, cause cause here's the thing, um, and I'll just say my own opinion and uh, what I believe to be true from uh, things I've looked into. Um, yeah, you're, uh, you can easily be asymptomatic, um, which, you know, I, I know, I know being asymptomatic kind of makes it sound, you know, like weird and stuff, but, um, but yeah, you, uh, you could easily have it for, for two weeks without, Actually, for over two weeks, uh, you could, yeah, if you're asymptomatic, I guess you could have it for months and months, um, and spreading it, and I think that might be, uh, that might be why Beaver County is still closed. Um, it's possible, um, now hear me out, uh, it's possible that, um, there is someone out there that is, uh, that is COVID-19, you know, or, 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 I should say, um, is a high probability of having COVID-19 and spreading it. Um, and they don't want that person, um, you know, they, they don't know who that person is yet. And something squished on my screen. I don't know what that was. That was weird. 
Okay, cool. Oh, wait, it's probably the chat board on one of these pages. All right, I may have to shut off the uh, to chat boards. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too super, super right away right now. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I was out and about today. Um, I went to, uh, I had to go to two hardware stores, unfortunately, because the first one, hey, there's a bunch of people that just joined up. Uh, there's a bunch of people that, um, or, you know, they, they, hey, oh, look, there's a bunch of people showing up. Cool. All right. Hey, um, I'm Conrad. I'm one of the cell dwellers. Uh, we do it every Friday since I know there's three people who just joined up. Um, yeah, we do improv, uh, at night, uh, on Friday nights, um, if you have a suggestion, please put it into the comment. I'm not going to bite and be like, oh, no, somebody commented. Yeah, um, yeah, because I'm going to take suggestions from you. Or if I don't get a suggestion, uh, you'll just hear me talk about uh, random stuff that comes in my head. Uh, or maybe I'll play some videos from uh, from November in the past, and uh, you'll enjoy those. I don't know. It's going to be a fun night. That's all I'm telling you. Okay? Uh, I have a martini. What drink do you have? Out there. <laughs> mm. Ooh, it is strong, though. Killer strong. Oh, what? somebody was offended I drank. And they're like, oh, I'm signing off right now. It's probably not a good idea to talk about your viewer count while you're at the show. But, uh, yeah. I guess it's better than uh, being live on stage and people don't just get up and walk out of our theater so there's that speaking of theater i was uh was not the uh the seagriff uh earlier this week um there was uh when i when i got there like i couldn't get into the building because someone had stacked i want to say like seven to ten garbage bags in front of the door and like it was literally stacked up so bad that i i could not i could not get into the front door because there's bags stacked there um so yeah i took a picture of it i sent it to uh our landlord um obviously she didn't get back to me which kind of upset me but um we did go back the next day and the garbage was gone no no communication back from the, uh, the landlord on whether or not she talked to someone or she knows what's going on with that. Nothing. Um, yeah, so, but, but it is gone. Um, maybe she's upset because I haven't paid rent, but at the same time, I also haven't been able to do shoe and raise any money. Uh, yeah, if I was better online, uh, making you laugh and, uh, you know, <laughs> getting you excited to be out there in the world or in. In, in your own home, <clears throat> then uh, maybe you could go to our Patreon page at Patreon slash CD Improv. I think that's probably the name of it. I, I don't know for sure. Uh, probably is, because why would I name it anything else? Uh, the Twitch page is CD Improv. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, go to that page and uh, you can sponsor us and uh, give us money and uh, we'll make sure we can pay the rent every uh, every month um, but until then um, I'll just be uh, I'll be here every Friday um, doing a show for you guys uh, <laughs> and um, you know maybe, maybe at some point in time I'll write up some sort of a script or a, a set list of what I'm going to be doing um and it'll be a little more exciting because i see um it's a it's a it's a, it's a really you know like a uneventful show tonight uh, but that's okay uh i don't really want to talk about my day quite honestly like i want to make you guys like laugh uh, but at the same time i don't want to be scrolling through facebook and like looking for things to laugh about because then i won't be you know engaging my audience which is the uh, the camera lens uh so um yeah so i don't know i don't know how the how do they do that I mean, there's a lot of people out there they'll, they'll do talk shows and they'll talk about things to themselves for uh, hours at a time uh, and drink um yeah i don't know how that works but that's uh that's how it's going
I told uh, a friend of mine to stop sending me propaganda on my messenger page because uh, and then I said look I'm not gonna read it whatever the heck you're sending me I don't please stop Hot parts was a bad idea. But I was learning. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not feeling really good right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wish I, yeah, see, that's the thing. I have to watch the episodes to, um, so they can label them. Um, wait, is it from the same day? Oh, it's a different day. It has to be a different day. Because I'm like, why am I wearing. A different shirt. Yeah, yes, but it is a different day. Well, quite honestly, everyone is wearing a different shirt. Uh, but I noticed myself specific specifically because I can uh, notice myself. Oh, God damn, I'm picking my nose. God damn. Well, that's not good. Eh, how are you going to do? I hope nobody saw that. Oh, they saw it all right. <laughs> so okay um okay uh today um yeah today is the uh, the fn tired of it uh show uh the fn stands for friday night tired of it so uh yeah that's how that goes um but uh today they announced that um most of and i say most for a reason most of uh, southwestern, yeah, uh, yeah, southwestern Pennsylvania is on yellow zone, so it's um, mod. I don't know, it, it's modified closures or something, probably. Um, yeah, uh, Beaver County is still in the red zone, so we're still locked down. Um, now, I've heard that it's because we have that ninety percent. 80s and 90 I don't know, 90 percent of our deaths were in one um, facility. Um, however, I, I I understand most of the deaths were in that facility. What I'm worried about is how did the COVID get into the facility, um, and and do they know where that person went to? Because if somebody brought it into the facility and spread it to all these people, um, is it contained? Like, do we know all the places that it, it could have potentially gone to um, right now? Um, Beaver County was, uh, was it? Or was this, shit, I don't even know. But anyway, it, it seemed like Beaver County and Allegheny County was like, well, they were definitely the first ones hit with COVID. Uh, so that it makes sense, you know, make, sh make sure it ran its course. Uh, I guess that's all I'm saying. Um, obviously, I want, I want everything to open up. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, I I'm going to protect myself. So, and uh, not only that, but I'm going to make sure that uh, I protect others still. Because, hey, maybe I am uh, asymptomatic. I don't know. Um, I had a cough a little bit ago. Maybe that's, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like who, who really knows? Um, so that's, that's one of the reasons I wear a mask. Um, yeah, so Beaver County is still under lockdown. Um, I, I was upset that they did their, uh, their little speech and they got up there and they talked about it, but, um, no one seemed to be, unless there was like just off camera, uh, but no one seemed to be wearing a mask. And the two that did show their had a mask um, didn't uh, didn't protect it very well. Like they, you know, they touched the ends of it that would have the anything on it. Um, so that's all I'm saying. Like if you're going to if you're going to move us to yellow yourselves in Beaver County, um, then then act like you're in yellow. Like pay attention to what you're doing. Um, treat everything as if as if it. Uh, yeah, as if it could possibly spread COVID-19. Yeah, whatever. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's only 10, 11. Fuck. Hmm. 
I honestly am not feeling good tonight. I really am. I, I, like, I want to finish this martini, but at the same time, I don't. Because I'm like, oh, like, it hurts my stomach right now. Just not very happy. Um, yeah, and I got that one beat right there. So I want to uh, make sure I do some sort of a show for you know, a little bit. But uh, that's how it goes. So here's a buckets game from uh, from way way yonder, uh, and here we go. Let's watch this for a little bit. In a place with heat, which are interesting categories. And we've got over three nominations on cooking show. And the way this is going to work is that you are two hosts on a daytime cooking show talking about your most recent recipe. The recipe is based on this food, and your co-host over here will tell you. Welcome back from the break. Here on Cooking with Jim and Jim, we are excited to give you our new recipe, which is an unsweetened applesauce casserole. Now, I know what you think the unsweetened applesauce in the casserole is very, very uh, interesting to How do you cook it, Jim? I'll tell you how you cook it, Jim. You're going to cook it. Uh, in our meat triangle, all tangled. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that to the break and find out what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I, meet, I still don't know what a meat triangle is. Hey, welcome back to I'll Eat Freely. And in today's episode, we are going to be cooking my pancreas. <laughs> Yes, This is what I was
<laughs> all right well that's over with uh so that was fun that was buckets from uh november 2019 um any year prior than that it will be uh, on a different uh page stored and uh also at um it will be at the different venue so that's how that goes um <clears throat> cool uh, so anyway, I got uh, my one viewer out there, and I apologize. I, I'm honestly, I'm not still not feeling uh, super well right now. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to end the show here shortly. Um, yeah, I feel bad, but that's how it's that's how it is. Um, I can play something if you want, uh, possibly. Uh, do we uh, do we spell it spit or is it, do we spell it spittle? I, I'm not sure how that goes. That's why I wrote it twice into the chat board um because honestly i don't know it do they say spittle like spittle or or do we say it as spit i i, I don't know whatever uh <laughs> just things i think about um but uh these things are getting shorter and shorter every freaking week Arr! uh so maybe uh, next week i'll uh really plan it and i'll have a, a, a good show um yeah, I bought um, I bought some stuff for the the garage. Uh, my wife is going to be she she's on vacation. Uh, I know she's one of those essential. I mean, <clears throat> not essential. I mean, uh, 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 expendable uh, employees. Um, and uh, she's going to be, uh, but but she does get a vacation. So next week she's going to be refinishing a uh, a dresser that will go. Um, in that corner um yeah yeah from the way you're looking at it i guess it would be that corner it's weird <laughs> because it's opposite for me um so that would be fun um i i can't wait to see that in here that's gonna it's gonna take up some uh, some space and uh yeah we can get rid of some other stuff instead of and we can pack things away into it like it's uh, supposed to be but we're doing that and we're also getting a a newer um 
sewing table. So that's going to be awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, you're not going to see it from any of these vantage points that I'm not moving the camera, so screw you. Uh, maybe someday I'll set up the camera a little bit better, but until then, I don't know, I don't care, and I'm falling down. Ugh. But I'm back up again, so it's cool. <laughs> Alright. I haven't even got to my olives yet. So, uh, anyway, so, and, um, but we need to, you know, she's going to be finishing those. Uh, currently, um, they are in the, um, the shed, and I basically, because they've been in there the longest, um, they have the most, uh, trash stacked on top of them. Um, let's, let's see if I can name all the trash that I have stacked on top of it. Um, well, I have some, uh, some gravestones for, you know, the, uh, styrofoam gravestones, obviously. I don't I didn't go down to a grave and like grab a gravestone. But uh, we have uh, some styrofoam gravestones. Um, I have a large plastic bin that the lid is not on top of. Like it's slid off to the side. I don't know why. I don't even know what's in it. Um, there is some uh, some wire. Um, there's like a bunch of boxes stacked on the one. Um, yeah, so. Uh, that's going to be fun to uh, clean everything off of, um, remove those from the shed, and then I have a bunch of wood that I got uh, for some fences. Um, I'm going to use that. Oh, hello. Um, I'm going to use that uh, to, to basically make some shelves uh, for inside the garage. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it turns out well because the, I... I got in there and I tried to do a little bit of work, um, but um, yeah, it didn't work out as well as I had hoped. I did, I did make a, a path so I can get out the um, the dresser once it's ready. Um, Grant, I have to take everything off of that dresser, set it on the ground, and then take it out and then bring everything back in. Uh, hopefully, I can set it to the side and like I can make some shelves first so that things can go back onto a shelf as opposed to the floor. So uh so that's how that goes. <laughs> um yeah so anyway so I, I did see there's a uh, a hockey player or what that is uh it looks like a hockey player on the uh that joint <laughs> is is now hosting you. Oh wait you're rebroadcasting me? Well that's really weird. Alright well I guess I'm being rebroadcasted uh, okay, cool. I guess I feel a little bit better. Uh, I guess that means I gotta now do a show, I feel like, because, uh, someone else is rebroadcasting me. That's, ooh, that's so, that's so weird, man. I feel, I feel violated. No, I don't feel violated. I don't care. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm messing with you. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, I don't care, whatever. Uh, it's good. More um, more people seeing and then uh, maybe viewing on uh, Friday because uh, we come down here every Friday at 10 and we do a show. Um, normally, we do it at the Seagriff stage, but um, because of COVID-19, we are, um, I'm doing this from my home. Uh, so that's how that goes. Uh, and I got a message coming in and I got Click it so it doesn't make a noise and go, boop, boop, you know, make me go, what was that? You know? Um, yeah, so, anyway, so, yeah, so I'm building some shelves inside the garage. Um, what other items did I, Whew. oh, yeah, and I picked up a, um, I, I picked up, some, well, this is what I have to do. I, I have a, um, a gate for my fence. Um, but unfortunately, one of the hinges, one of the brackets, um, bent and twisted. So I don't know, maybe somebody tried to take it off and caught it and it fell. I, I don't know what happened to it, but it's all twisted out of whack. Um, so I've been, I'm like, <laughs> so I finally picked up, I guess, the, the parts that the gate would sit on, okay, in order to hinge. Um, but somehow I'm going to have to take the, uh, the two hinges I have, the two brackets, 
Um, the one just needs a little bit straightened, but the other one needs to be like seriously bent uh, back into shape. So I'm hoping I can figure out a way of doing that. Uh, I think I have some strong enough like bars, I think, that would like hold it and I can bend with it. I hope. Oh, uh, yeah. Because if not the alternative, um, and these are freaking expensive, but apparently the uh, the hinges to hold up a fence, um, I want to say it was like six dollars for for actually probably more like seven because it was probably like six eighty nine or something, um, and even the the bolts were uh, were five dollars a piece. My only wrong, my only wrong. But that's how it is, I guess. Um, you know. I don't know if it's because I went to a local shop and they're more expensive, but I also had I had to stop at Home Depot later in the day um, because the local shop did not have the screws I wanted. Um, the ones they had, like the ones I wanted, I wanted the uh, the T25, the um, the star bit basically. Uh, they didn't have that. They had the regular Phillips. I had a feeling that because. They didn't have the star bit. Theirs were not um, built to be out in the weather. Um, so I did have to stop at the, the depot and I picked up some uh, deck bait, which are like weather. They, they said they're guaranteed for life. So I'm like, well, sweet. Then I'm, I'm putting these outside. That's how it's going to go. Uh, but apparently I'm also putting those inside the garage too. But um, oh well. Uh, they're strong screws. Uh, I don't need that many more three and a half inch. I, I got down to um, one, one screw left. Um, I said, all right, well, I guess I better buy some more of these three and a half inch. Um, the, the inch and a half, I, most of them were gone. I had a, uh, a few left. Um, but when I put in the fence, uh, because I wanted to save screws, uh, I basically only put in like one at the top and one at the bottom. Um, I have a mid bar going through it, not one screw in it. <laughs> I have a um, oh, not to mention like the top and bottom. Like some of the boards like twist a bit, so they kind of need two at the top or bottom. Uh, and I didn't do that because I was like, oh, I only have one box of screws. Um, hopefully, I have enough screws to finish. Um, <laughs> hopefully, thank you. Uh, hopefully, I have enough screws to finish. Um, I think I do. Mm, we'll see how it goes. That's all I can do. That's all I can say. Um, hopefully, I dropped a few more that I can't find. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how that goes. Uh, What else will be going on? Um, yeah, uh, I did go to the uh, the Seagriff and I um, I built two sets of shelves in the upstairs area um, so that um, eventually someone can go in there and do a little bit of organization because I mean, quite honestly, I mean, without shelves, they're like shelves uh, would have to be up into the realm of the wheel in my book because. Uh, without shelves, you don't have a place to put your stuff. Um, and if you don't have a place to put your stuff, it stays on the floor, and that's just not cool. Um, so, you know, first came the wheel, you had to roll things around, and then, like, you got things to your place. He said, where did I put this? I'm going to put on shelves. And, and uh, that's why shelves are a great invention. Uh, and, um, you know, they, they, they make the world go around, shelves. That's been your, uh, that has been your, uh, whatever of the day. Um, what do they call this? Dang it, come on. Oh, there you go. I clicked the wrong place. Uh, that has been your, uh, insight of the day. Um, shelves are, uh, are great. Um, what else? Uh, oh, so, I don't know if you know this or not. Um, maybe it's the first time I'm hearing it, but I guess today would be my, uh, Eighth, no. Wait, no, no. I had the eighth day last weekend. So this is my fourteenth, fifteenth, fifteenth day. 
uh, uh, 15, oh shit, no, I screwed up, you know, 15, 15 day of, of quarantine, yeah, um, yeah, I was laid off uh, a little bit ago, um, it's sad because after I was laid off, it seemed like, quite honestly, it seemed like after I was laid off, uh, two weeks later, they are already, like, pulling back things, um, but I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be slow down there for a while, um, I don't want to say anything bad about them just yet until I get another gig uh, and I'm doing something. Or I know for a fact I'm getting unemployment for quite some time. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll start a, uh, a company doing um, advertisement or, or doing consulting. I, I don't know. Whatever. I think I would be a good consultant. Um, especially for people that um, are thinking not with their heads. Um, there's, there was a lot of it at, uh, my old company, uh, quite honestly, there's people that, uh, <laughs> again, I want to get to it because this is supposed to be the cellar dwellers and we're here to have fun. Um, so <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Maybe I should start a whole new channel or a whole new time zone. That's what I should do. I should do another time and then I will, uh, bitch my own stuff. Instead of doing improv, but uh, tonight we're doing improv. I don't have a single uh, thing on the board on what to do except for uh, say how do you say spit and spittle. Um, that was something I posted earlier from a what was it? Oh, it was a buckets game we played in, in November. Yeah. Just off camera, uh, there's a mess in this room. Uh, <laughs> there is a uh, an ironing board, which is uh, basically a, um, a a table. If someone wants to walk into the room and order something, because I can like, hey, uh, let me order you something. So it's almost like a little obstacle course walking into this room, um, and that's how that is. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, I need to um, I need to finish up a fence gate. Um, and after that is done, or before that is done, or while it's being done, um, put some sort of a block at the bottom uh, to keep smaller animals, uh, or let's just say the cat, inside uh, the place. Um, I, would, I think I actually might make a, a bit of a door uh, for the, uh, the small animals, and then just uh, maybe lay something down in front when the cat comes out. Um, and I think I might even want to do a, um, I have some, some green plastic fence. Um, but I think if I had like two or three, like, uprights that would stand up by themselves, I could have the fence going through it. Um, and basically like lay it across the garage, you know, when I'm not using it and pull it out all the way across, um, you know, the patio, uh, when I do want to use it and that would lock the cat into this little area and um, she could be happy. She could be out uh, sunning herself on the patio. Um, so that's what I want to do. That's my plan. Um, hopefully I'll take pictures of it and you can see it. But um, that's how that's going to be. It's going to be awesome. Cool, right? Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, oh, hello. Something popped up in my windows. Oh, that's just me. That's my Never mind. It's my own mouse. It's my own mouse, man. I swear. I swear it's my mouse. Whatever. <laughs> um, I have been listening to uh, some audiobooks on uh, Libby, um, the, the Libby app, um, which this is not sponsored, and you don't have to pay for the Libby app uh, as long as you have already picked up a library card um, so hopefully if you're in the yellow area maybe your library will open up and you can pick up a uh, library card either way the, using the Libby app I, um, I was able to listen to a bunch of books um, my favorite and my recommendation um, pick up uh, it's an Ellie Kemper's um, My Squirrel Days um, I enjoyed the book it was really good it um, yeah, it, it made me laugh a bunch of times. Like, and at first it started out as if it was um, Kimmy Schmidt uh, doing a book, 
Uh, but then I realized, like, okay, no, it, Kimmy Schmidt it, is basically just derived from Ellie Kemper's comedy style. Um, and in the book, she talks about how she does or did uh, improv like all the time, like constantly, like, like oh, we're gonna do this, oh, we're gonna like take her boyfriend to, to improv classes and shows. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's why. Yeah, I think that's why I enjoy her comedy because um, it is funny stuff and it's it's stuff that you don't think about except for like you know it's like a twist at the very last minute you know or second it's like oh that is kind of funny um, so yeah uh, I, I recommend that one um, the second one I listened to, or not second one but uh, another one I checked out uh, which you might enjoy is um, Neil deGrasse Tyson's uh, Astrophysics for people who don't have a lot of time or or in a hurry or something um that was really good too i i enjoyed that um yeah he talked about all kind of things going from from the quarks to to what was before the big bang well actually no, no i think about to the very second like not even a second like whatever a pico you know thousandth millionth of a second was before the big bang uh you know what happened then it was it was so yeah so he talked about the whole thing from quarks to all the way to the it was, it was very good um so i enjoyed that book um unfortunately um something happened with my phone and um, I no longer have audio with it. Um, I, you may remember that I was doing some uh, some broadcasts from downstairs in the dining room um, off my, my portable phone. Uh, well, I can't do that anymore. Um, like the first time I had no audio, so I had to restart it. Um, restarting doesn't help anymore. Um, I used to like, oh, I have no audio. Okay, no problem. Restart the phone and uh, everything is back to normal again. Uh, well, now I restart it and there is absolutely nothing. Um, it's gotten to the point where there's a um, a game on my sh phone that will not play because it can't connect to the audio. Like it says, there's a pro there's no problem, but there is a problem. Um, at one point in time, like I couldn't like the speakers wouldn't work. But I could use my um, Bluetooth. I think I lost the Bluetooth uh, this morning. Um, yeah, I went to go use the Bluetooth and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, this is not good. Um, so, unfortunately, um, I do have another audiobook coming on the uh, 13th because I'm able to uh, hold it and you know, request it. Um, <laughs> I can be able to listen to it. Um, unless I unless I download Libby onto the computer and sit down and listen to it, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I, I I don't feel that's my thing because I really enjoyed putting on my headphones and like being outside working and just like listening to a book. That was that was the greatest. Um, so if you're quarantined, stuck at home, that's what I recommend. Uh, getting Libby. It's a free app. Um, I'm not endorsing Audible because you got to pay for Audible. I am endorsing a free app. Uh, because I'm cheap, and if you're watching me, you're probably cheap too. Because uh, I am cheap comedy. <laughs> do, 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 do. <sighs> All right. Uh, so that's how that goes. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's that's how I end. You know, bits in between. Like, yeah. <sighs> so uh, uh, yeah. Um, what am, I, what am I doing? I really want to go back to the Sea Griff, and um, if anybody local wants to uh, get together, because uh, I, I, I think shortly we will be able to do things. Um, I almost want to get get out my uh, my rock band stuff set up at the theater, turn on that projector onto the big wall. Um, and play some video games. I mean, why not? Um, you know, if, if we both wear masks, or, well, I mean, both, but, uh, you know, if, if we wear masks, if we're six feet apart, um, I think we might be able to do that. I, I 
I thought about that same like that'd be cool. Um, my friend offered me his his son's Wii, um, and I said, "Yeah, that'd be great because he's moving everything." Um, and unfortunately, I was working when he was moving from some place to place, so I couldn't help him. Now, of course, that he's finished moving. Now that I'm, I'm laid off, I'm like, I don't think he's moving anything else more. And I, I feel weird, but I go, hey, remember that Wii that you offered me? Can I get that? Because, uh, you know, I don't want to play games and stuff. Um, yeah, so I know. I feel, I feel weird asking. Um, I haven't seen him in a while, but obviously, once this thing is over, I'll probably see him and be able to, like, hey, can I, you know, can I get that, that game system? Um, yeah, but until then, I think I'll even clear out a little bit of room out of the back room, take the drum set down to the theater. Um, that, that's the one thing I miss is actually, it, it was really fun, like, beating those drums and playing, um, you know, rock band, like playing different, different games. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, anyway, uh, anything for a cheap? Oh, anything for cheap? Oh, that's right. That's right. I do anything for cheap life. Um, because I am a uh, I'm a loser. Okay. Um, that's how the uh, that's how the show goes. Um, let me talk about my screen. Oh boy! All right, ten forty-three. Oh man, it's getting late. Arr. I may have to uh, cut this night short. I was going to cut it short like 15 minutes ago, and I kept going. So I kept going for you. That's all I'm saying, man, because I love you out there. Um, and I you know, want to make sure that you're uh, you're feeling good. And you, you, you decided to at least turn on my Twitch for a while and, like, let me ramble onto your whatever, uh, you know, off in the corner. You're probably not going to listen to me. Whatever. I don't care. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I can ramble on while you're playing your video games, uh, but that's cool. Uh, I I thank that I thank you for that. I enjoyed that. That was that was great. Uh, <laughs> but um, as I've said before, um, wash your hands. Um, wearing a mask is not to not necessarily to protect you. It's to protect you from other people. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna find out that a lot more people. Um, we're actually are, are asymptomatic towards COVID-19, um, and don't have a problem with them. Like, I, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of healthy people that it's not going to affect them. Um, and they are the ones who are going to be spreading this, um, because they're going to refuse to wear a mask because they feel like they're healthy. Um, yeah, I have that feeling. Uh, let's, uh, let's try not to think about that. We're trying to think about happy things. Um. I can't think of anything else happy except for that drink is really making me happy. All right, so as I was saying, as I was closing off, um, yeah, uh, wash your hands regularly. Um, make sure you take your, if you're out and about, all right, put your mask on, okay? Whether or not you're talking or near someone, you know, because what's going to happen, what happens is, you you grab a door handle or you touch a um, you touch something else that somebody else touched, and then inadvertently you might touch your face. Um, and that's that's how it can get to you is, is by inadvertently you know touching your face and, and doing stuff like this. So if you have your mask on, you're going to touch your mask and not your face. Um, so that's how that happens. Um, so yes, yeah, so wash your hands regularly. Don't do that stupid little you just running under water. Like get some soap. They say two minutes or uh, sing happy birthday twice. Um, I don't think that is two minutes. That's twenty seconds. Um, yeah, uh, do that. Oh, uh, disinfect your phone more often than you sh think you should. Um, easiest way to do it. I just take some Clorox. I spritz it onto a. Uh, I, I say Clorox as if I'm talking about bleach. I'm not talking about bleach. I am talking about the Clorox disinfectant spray that you can get everywhere. Um, spritz on the paper towel, wipe down the phone. All right, do that. It, if not once a day, twice a day. If not twice a day, at least once a week. I I, I don't know. Whatever it, it takes to uh, to keep you healthy out there. Because um, yeah, I would uh, I would feel bad if I uh, didn't have your face to talk to uh, when I'm out here on Friday nights. Um, yeah. 
So <laughs> I'm signing off. Uh, remember that we do this every Friday. And uh, as always, uh, keep yourself safe. Uh, I'll be here next week. Uh, soon, shortly, we will be uh, talking about new things that we will be doing. Um, I do have a, uh, one last thing, I do have a gaming group, uh, the Dwellers in the Rift, um, they're a public, yeah, public group on Facebook, so you can look them up, um, if you want to join, I really wanted to do some online gaming, um, no one seems to be, like, ready to do this and jump into it, um, I'm seeing other people, like, jumping into it and doing it, um, I guess I'm just not the uh, the person to get people excited about doing stuff. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's on me. I, I blame myself. Um, but that's some really cool artwork here. I'll, I'll put in some artwork real quick. How fast can I get some artwork up to show you? And these are not, neither one of the artworks that I'm using. Um, crap. Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I can click on to things on this other side. Da, 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 da. And da, 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 da. Alright, ready? Ta da! This is Dwellers in the Rift. Pretty cool, right? It's like I got, I said, you know what? If I'm going to have a, a group, I'm going to have a, a pretty nice looking, um, you know, drop, I guess, for the page. So that's what I did. So, um, maybe be looking for Dwellers in the Rift. I'll post it onto this channel also it, my youtube page also maybe i don't know um and then yeah because if maybe if you yeah that makes sense because if you're uh you know if you're watching youtube and into youtube maybe you'll be into you know getting online and uh playing a game uh with some other people i know it's weird there's like other humans out there so i swear to god they're there um you know i used to meet up with them every friday but uh i haven't in a while that's how it is So anyway, uh, have a good night. I will. Uh, I will see you next Friday. Um, all those good things. Wash your hands. Stay. Oh, be well. Yes. Oh, be well. That's a good one too. <laughs> Thank you.